Example 9. Consider the line y equals to 2 over 3x minus 5. Write the vector equation of the line. Find x intercepts of the line. Well, to find vector equation of a line which is of this form r equals to r0 plus tm where r0 is a point on the line t is the scalar multiple of direction vector m correct now this line given to us is in slope intercept form and from the line y equals to 2 over 3x minus 5 we can see the slope of the line which is m is equals to 2 over 3 and a point which is the y intercept so y intercept is b which is minus 4 minus 5 so y intercept is b which is minus 5 when I'm saying b and m I'm trying to relate it with slope intercept form which is y equals to mx plus b correct so this is what we had been learning about line so far in algebra right now we are connecting algebra with our vector equation and that's the whole exercise now one part to it is slope and direction vector now slope is change in y over change in x whereas the direction vector which we say m which is a vector is actually change in x comma change in y we write like a coordinate right change in x with change in y and we measure it from the origin okay so so that's a point which is from the origin and that gives you the direction right the second point here is the origin so it's always seen from origin okay so for this equation m is equal to 3 over 2 right so that is how you know if you have equation in slope intercept form you can straight away write the direction vector correct 3 over 2 to give you a good idea of all this let me say this so we are saying that <clears throat> our line direction vector from the origin is 3 over 2 so this is like 1 2 3 and then this is 1 2 then that's the point 3 over 2 and from here to here that denotes the direction vector m uh, in vector equation of the line okay now for writing equation of a line in vector form we need direction vector and a point so the point which we are going to use here is the y-intercept correct so the point which we'll call as r0 is equal to the value at y-intercept which is at 0 minus 5 so we say 0 minus 5 the y-intercept given in this equation will be used as our point on the line correct and then we can write r0 so r r the vector equation say r is equal to r0 which is the point 0 minus 5 plus any scalar multiple in this direction correct so that is we can use any symbol here right normally we are using t so i'll use t for the time being but it could be any symbol right s u v whatever you feel like well so it is t here for the moment and then the direction vector which is 3 comma 2 now t here belongs to set of real numbers correct so that ensures all the points in this direction right in this direction but our points and the line which we are talking about has a y-intercept of minus 5 so let me just extend it and try to give you the point here so this is like plus 2 here and now we say this is 1 2 3 4 5 so that is the point which we are looking for so that is the y intercept and you know so basically we are going to draw a line which is parallel to this from here do you see that do you understand the concept so here we have to go three units to the right and two up right so we get a point like that and let me do it in a different color so this line is the line which we could draw using our vector equation right so that's the point 0 minus 5 
correct so this point is 0 minus 5 correct and then from here we go 3 2 so that means see 1 2 3 and 1 2 and we reach a point here and then connect it like that now this t could be any multiple right if it is 1 then we go 3 2 if it is minus 1 we could have gone this side also right if it is like 2 then 6 2 so we can go 6 and next point will be here like that there were so many points on the line so this factor t belongs to real number ensures that line is a set of let me write that in a different ink line is a set of infinite points right line is a set of infinite points in the same direction right and that value of t ensures that same direction do you see you just change the value of t it could be 1 1.1 1.2 1.3 10 100 11 whatever right but gives you all the points on the line it could be negative positive all real numbers correct so that is what it is so i hope you understand that part and now let's look into the x intercept of the line so to find the x intercept so i'm running out of space here so i'll just make a room here so x intercept means that y equals to zero right so we are looking for a point where y is equal to zero and we'll find some x intercept so let's say the x intercept happens to be at x comma zero right because that's the y value and it has to go through this point right zero that's the equation so we get zero minus five plus t three comma two right so the idea is to find what value of t will give us the zero y value the same value of t will give us the x value do you understand so so the y value zero can be equated as zero equals to minus five see we are splitting the equation into its variable x and y okay so in a way we are writing the parametric form now okay or we can just expand and write and then see okay so we could yeah uh, okay so well let, because I started like this let me do it like this now 0 equals to minus 5 plus 2t right plus 2t right from here we know t is equals to 5 over 2 correct t is 5 over 2 so this gives us t equals to 5 over 2 so the x value will be so x will be equals to 0 plus 5 over 2 times 3 0 plus 5 over 2 t is 5 over 2 times 3 so 15 over 2 is our x intercept point do you see that so wherever it crosses it will be 7.5 the value of x intercept okay now that's how it is going to be even if you calculate from here x intercept if you place y equals to 0 let's do it here also okay so I'm just giving you different scenarios trying to make you understand and link the y equals to mx plus b with the, uh, the vector equation right now here if I put y equals to 0 and solve for x let's say then and I multiply by 3 so okay let, let's do that let's equate y equals to 0 and then becomes 2 over 3x minus 5 right to solve for 3 we can bring 5 this side 5 equals to 2 over 3x correct and from here x is equal to 5 times 3 15 divided by 2 correct which implies that x is equals to 15 over 2 correct the same answer do you see that so x intercept for us is I can write 7.50 correct so we try to show you both the methods so that you can link your all knowledge of algebra into vectors and correlate the two okay i hope you enjoy the process and you've really understood by almost at the end of this vector and parametric equations we'll introduce you to the other forms of <coughs> equations of the line uh, after this okay symmetric equation and then we have a scalar equation for the line okay and then we'll move on to r3 that is three dimension this is r2 means two dimensions okay